This is a lecture on water and excreta related communicable diseases and we're going to develop a unitary environmental classification. Now these communicable diseases are caused by pathogenic microorganisms which are associated in one way or another with water and or excreta. So we're talking about the viruses, bacteria, protozoa and helminths. Helminths are worms. This is a list of water and excreta related diseases <coughs> and you should recognize some old friends here like cholera and diarrhea but actually such a list is not remotely useful nor is a list which lists the causative organisms of these diseases by biological type that's to say whether they're viral diseases, bacterial diseases, protozoan diseases or worm diseases. What we as engineers need is an environmental classification which groups together the diseases into categories which have a common environmental transmission pattern. And in this unitary environmental classification of water and excreta related diseases, we have seven categories. The first are the feco oral waterborne and water washed diseases. So, first we will look at the waterborne diseases. Here, these diseases are caused by pathogens which are present in drinking water. So basically the transmission route is the excreta of one person into water and then that water being drunk by somebody else. This is a list of <coughs> diseases, examples of diseases, which can be waterborne. And that word can is very important. So we have typhoid, cholera, shigellosis, enteroviral diseases, jardiasis, and cryptosporidiosis. Cholera in England in the early to mid 1800s uh, was the first disease to be shown to be waterborne, in fact by Dr John Snow in London in 1854. And we have the famous Broad Street pump incident where Snow removed the pump handle and the outbreak stopped, or so it was claimed. This slide shows Snow's results, the number of cholera deaths per day during late August to early September in 1854. And he removed the pump handle on the 8th of September. And you can see, really, that removing the pump handle had very little effect. Broad Street is now called Broadwick Street, and there's a pub there called the John Snow Pub uh, in Soho in London. The world's largest outbreak of waterborne disease occurred in Milwaukee in Wisconsin in the United States in March to April 1993. This was caused by a filter malfunction at one of the city's water treatment works and this led to an outbreak of cryptosporidiosis on a truly massive scale. Over 400,000 people were infected and about 70 people died. The population of Greater Milwaukee is 1.6 million. And the estimated cost of the outbreak was something of the order of 100 US million dollars. <coughs> Guinea worm is an example of a helminthic disease which is exclusively waterborne. It's often known as the fiery serpent and it's properly called dracunculiasis. The female worms, which are about a metre in length, form a blister in the foot or legs and larvae are shed from this blister when the blister comes in contact with water. The larvae get into the water, they're eaten by copiapods, and people become infected when they drink water containing these copiapods. This slide shows a typical unprotected well somewhere in Africa. The water is very dirty, and in fact it's full of copiapods, the water fleas or cyclops. So how do we control guinea worm transmission? The best way is to build a narrow wall around the well. and It has to be narrow so that people can't stand on it and this prevents the larvae from getting into the water. Alternatively, or also in addition, uh, the people can use a simple plastic mesh filter to remove the copiapods prior to drinking the water. Now obviously waterborne diseases <coughs> are very, very important. But actually, and especially in developing countries, much more important are the water wash diseases which form category 1B of our unitary environmental classification.